Welcome to the John and Annie Glenn Historic Site in New Concord, Ohio. This was John Glenn's boyhood home and we invite you to visit for a unique living history tour. Actors in period costume will guide you through the main floor of the home as though it's either 1937 during the Great Depression or 1944 during World War II. Today we have two actors with us who are portraying John's parents, Herschel and Clara. Please join us for a look at the life of an American family during World War II. Hello, my name is Clara Glenn and um, this is my kitchen, this is my home and I'm so glad you're here today. My son is John Glenn. Um, he's in the Pacific. He's a fighter pilot in this war which has made such a difference to us in this community and certainly to most of the people in the United States. I was just getting ready to put this tin can into my recycling bin because, you know, we all are trying to do our part. I can't go fight at the front with the boys, but I can do my part here. So I'm told that 12,000 tin cans is enough to weld the tank together. America is producing one airplane every 63 minutes, all with recycled tin and recycled um, tin foil. So it's all very exciting. Um, I'm having guests for dinner tonight and I just realized I don't have enough protein stamps to buy meat for dinner tonight. Of course, everybody has ration stamps. Uh, you don't just go to the store and buy whatever you want. You only have enough meat if you have the stamps, or coffee if you have the stamps, or sugar if you have the stamps. So tonight, because I don't have the meat, protein stamps, I'm going to make a recipe that a friend of mine told me about. And I will save any grease that I have because when I get a tub full of grease, I'll take it to the butcher and he will give me another ration stamp. So I'll have more uh, protein uh, to buy. But the most important thing is, in that animal fat is something called glycerin. And glycerin is what's used to make explosives. So I not only knit bandages for our wounded boys, we as a community, the women in the community, sew clothing for the refugee children, and we collect grease. So we're also helping to make explosives. So we definitely call ourselves the kitchen commandos. Why don't you come into the dining room and let me show you um, how I've got my table set for our guests. Tonight, I actually made these. I'm, I'm real proud of those. And of course, um, I know that you're looking at the flag. Um, I'm very proud of that. It means that we have a loved one that's in the service. This is Herschel. Uh, he's my husband and our son John is named actually John Herschel Glenn. Yeah, i got to get these uh, chimneys clean. They say the electricity may go off early tonight, in fact. Yeah. Oh, I need to listen to the radios here as soon as I can, uh, but don't want to listen to it too much. Of course, we're really interested in how the, the war news, any news we might get from the front, especially in the South Pacific. But you know, we got to be awfully careful about how we listen to that radio because it has big tubes in it, and if one of them blows, there's nothing to get it fixed with now. No, nobody's making parts for that. But, of course, I am awfully proud of our son who's off in the South Pacific. I was in the Great War in France back in 1918, and I did my part then, and I'm so glad now that my son John is off serving his country in the South Pacific. That was just a glimpse of one of our Living History presentations. We hope you'll bring your family to visit and enjoy the entire tour, which also includes a short film and a guided tour of the top floor and gallery areas. You'll see John's bedroom, which looks like it did when he was living here in the 1920s and 30s, a toy room with some of his very own childhood treasures, memorabilia from his military and space careers, and special mementos of John and Annie's life together. We hope to see you soon at the John and Annie Glenn Historic Site.